Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. So like you can tell, I'm not at home and I'm not going to be at home for a while. Uh, I am going to be here. I'm going to be still filming, doing my videos in this room. It's not the best situation to be in at the moment, in this environment where I am in the room, but I still got to get videos out there for you. So this trick, guys, you're about to see, it's super cool. It's more of an opener trick if you go with someone, and I just think it looks super, super cool. And as well, you're going to be seeing for the very first time my close-up table I made. It looks very, very cool, um, and this is what I'm going to be using, this table. I know you can't see it right now, but you are about to see it in just a second. So all that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so here is the effect guy. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna get somebody to pick a card. So let's just say, for example, they choose this one right here. And it's in fact the Ace of Clubs. Okay, obviously I wouldn't see this card. The card gets placed back into the center. No funny breaks, no funny moves. Very, very fair. And the cards can get shuffled, mixed up if they wish, if they don't have to. And you'd ask your spectator to see if they can actually cut to their card. So let's say they give them a cut. Let's see where they hit. It's five, which is not the ace of clubs. So obviously they didn't hit their card. But what we can do is actually, can, have you heard the counting cards? We can count cards. So we've got the five. So we go one, two, three, four. The fifth card is right here. This is crazy. They could have cut anywhere. And it was a five. We counted five and we find the ace of clubs. It's ridiculous. It's so strong. It really is. Not just that, you also find the other aces as well. And then from here, guys, what you would do is go into any kind of ace routine you wish. It's super cool. It's super fast. And it's easy. It's pretty easy as well. So all that being said, let me show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so here is the tutorial of the effect, guys. So what you want to do is remove your four aces. Okay, and you do need to unfortunately take out all the diamonds, all the clubs, or all the hearts, all the spades. Completely up to you. So you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. When you have done that, and making sure the king's obviously at the top, like the higher cards at the top, so you start at the bottom, which is two, three, four, five, all the way going to the king. When you're in that position, you're going to place the two at the top. You're going to close all these cards up, so now you have the three at the face, and that's going to go at the bottom of the deck. Followed by the any ace, so when we put the ace of spades, turn the cards over, take any two aces, place them on top. You're going to cut about 20 cards, okay? And you're going to get a break. So all these cards are going to go on top, and you're going to keep a break. And the last ace is going on top. Okay. So again, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got the ace of diamonds. Followed by the ace of spades. Followed by all the diamonds. Okay. Over here, you have two aces. So make sure you keep that break here. Your ace is on top. That it's a start up. That's the position you're going to be in when you get into the effect. This is why I said it's it's best as an opener trick. Okay, because it's a bit of a setup. But when you're in this position, you're ready to go. So now what you're going to do is do a riffle force. If you fancy the chances of doing a classic force, you can. But if you just want to do a basic riffle force, please go ahead and do a normal riffle force at the break. So they're going to shout the word stop. You're going to lift up at the break, okay, so you're going to lift up at the break, show them the card, it's the Ace of Clubs, okay. The Ace of Clubs is going to go back in the exact same position. So it's going to go back and the remainder is going to go on top with no breaks. Now you can give these cards a full deck shuffle if you know any or false cuts, making sure none of the cards change. So now, this is the, the only scariest part. They have to cut within the diamond section, okay? 
they have to cut within the diamond section. If they don't, the trick isn't going to work. So I say to the spectator, cut about half the cards and they're going to cut and it should be a diamond. If it's not a diamond, or for example, in my case, mineral or diamonds I'm using, if it's not a diamonds, then it's not going to work. Okay. So make sure they cut around about center. Okay. So they're going to cut the cards. And for example, it's a four. So now what I would say is I'll pick the pile up. So let me do that again, just to show you. I'll tell them to cut the cards anywhere they wish. Wherever they cut to, I'll turn the card over. It's a six. Okay, I say, well, was your card a six? They will say no. You're going to pick everything up. You're going to turn the six down. And then you're going to count six. So this is going to be number one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to hold the six card. And when you pull the six card up, your left hand packet right here is going to go down onto the table. And you say it wasn't the six. What were your card? They will say the ace of clubs. You will show the ace of clubs. Then from there, you snap and you show they hit all four aces. They do not expect this last bit. They really, really don't. And as well, when you've done this, if you want to get into it again, the quickest way of doing this is you pick your middle pile up. So remove the aces, okay? Pick your middle pile up. You're going to reverse count these cards. Take the right packet on top and then place the left packet on top of that. And then now all you have to, or basically you're back in the normal position, okay? All you have to do is place an ace at the bottom, two aces on top, cut about half, keep a pinky break, and the ace goes back on top. So again, one more time at speed for you guys. Please shout the word stop right here. Please take a look at the card and remember it. The card's going to go back inside the center of the pack, okay? Well, and then like I said, they have to cut within this diamond section. So I say go ahead and cut the card any way you wish, about half if you can. Okay, was your card a five? It wasn't a five. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually count five cards. That's one, two, three, four. The fifth card's right here. For the first time name your card they will say the ace of clubs you show them they, th they think the trick is done you snap and you show that you've just hit the four aces honestly this trick guys is super super strong so that my friend is a tutorial of the effect okay so that's the end of the video guys i hope you enjoy this yeah it's obviously cut into the four aces without them Cutting to the four aces, if that makes sense, it's like pick a card, ace, boom, and all the four aces pop out. Very cool trick. Yeah, the only problem is, is the setup, but like I said, it's a bit of an opener, isn't it, really? So you can open with this trick and then get into any other trick after that. But I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want more tricks like this or self easy working card tricks, semi automatic card tricks, harder tricks for your slight monkeys out there, let me know down in the comment section. Anyway, you guys know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.